I'm David Toman, author of NootropicsExpert.com. In this video, I'm going to share with you what I know about Terra Still Bean as a nootropic. What it is, why we use it, the science behind it, dosage, and side effects. Terra Still Bean is a naturally derived polyphenol antioxidant primarily found in blueberries and the Indian quino tree. Terastilbene and resveratrol are both stillbene polyphenols, and both boost cognition, learning, and memory. But terastilbene works differently than resveratrol and is not a replacement for resveratrol. And here's why. Resveratrol has been getting a lot of press lately because of its ability to lose, boost learning, memory, and cognitive power. But terastilbene is much more bioavailable than resveratrol and may be the preferred polyphenol to add to your nootropic stack. Terastilbene stands out because of its structural differences from resveratrol. Terastilbene has two methoxy groups and one hydroxyl group. Resveratrol has three hydroxyl groups. This combination in terastilbene improves lipophilicity which means it can dissolve in fats, oil, and lipids. Lipids are what makes up the shell membrane encasing each one of your cells. So terostilbene can more easily cross through your cell walls. In fact, several published studies refer to terostilbene as having much better bioactivity than resveratrol. Now you can easily add terastilbene to, to your diet. It's found in blueberries, cranberries, sparkleberries, lingonberries, grapes, and in the bark of the Indian quino tree. But to get the therapeutic benefits of terastilbene, a preferred way of getting this potent antioxidant is to take it as a supplement. Now terastilbene has been shown to prevent the loss of neuro, the neurotransmitter dopamine from memory centers in your brain. Supplementing with terastilbene raises levels in your hippocampus, which is where memory is processed. Terastilbene also has the effect of caloric restriction on cells, which profoundly affects gene expression. This tricks your body into improving memory because it thinks that there is a food scarcity, and it provides an adaptive response. The polyphenol terastilbene increases neuroreceptor sensitivity, which improves neuronal signaling, and it promotes the formation of new synaptic connections, which boosts neuroplasticity, improving long-term potentiation, resulting in formation of long-term memories. Well, first, terastilbene mimics caloric restriction. Restricting calories by fasting has been indicated in increased synaptic plasticity resulting in improved learning. Scientists determined that this enhancement in synaptic plasticity was caused by increased brain cell signaling and the signaling increase is mediated by CREB or C-AMP response element binding protein. CREB has a proven role in neuronal, neuronal plasticity and long-term memory formation in the brain and has been shown to be critical in the formation of spatial memory. In several studies, terastilbene has been shown to modulate gene expression. It upregulates those genes that stimulate apoptosis or programmed cell death and downregulates those genes that allow cancer cells, for example, to invade and metastasize. And this gene modulation is linked to increases in CREB and brain-derived entropic factor, or BDNF. An increase in BDNF helps long-term potentiation needed for the development of long-term memory. In this study, researchers supplemented aging animals with blueberry extract for 12 weeks. The extract contained terastilbene. Spatial working memory tasks emerged within three weeks of supplementation and persisted for the remainder of the testing period. This memory enhancement correlation with the activation of CREP and increases in BDNF in the hippocampus. In fact, terastilbene was implicated in the entire chain of the ERK, CREB, BDNF, 
signaling pathway that boosts memory. And second, terastilbene boosts dopamine. But it increases dopamine in kind of a backdoor approach. Now we have plenty of research showing that neurodegeneration is caused by oxidative stress and that antioxidants can stop and even reverse damage to neurons, potentially leading to an increase in the release of the important neurotransmitter like dopamine. Terastilbene is a potent antioxidant. Now one study done at Tufts University in Boston investigated stilbene compounds like terastilbene and their efficacy in reversing the effects of aging. The researchers used 344 Fisher rats and gave them either a low or a high concentration of terastilbene. Now results from this study show that terastilbene was effective in reversing cognitive deficits and terastilbene increased dopamine release, a boost in working memory correlated with terastilbene levels in the hippocampus. Terastilbene improves memory and provides neuroprotection through different mechanisms of action than most other nootropics in a typical stack. It works primarily through gene expression. Easily passing through cell walls, terastilbene modulates in the genes that influence other proteins, mitochondria, and even DNA. Now we talk a lot, a lot about apoptosis or programmed cell death as a negative event in nootropic circles. But the reality is that apoptosis is an integral part of a healthy brain. Terastilbene stimulates apoptosis to make way for healthy new cells to be born, or neurogenesis. And it helps downregulate invaders like cancer cells, preventing them from invading healthy brain tissue and metastasizing. Now, some supplement makers are mistakenly marketing their terastilbene as an upgraded version of resveratrol likely because terastilbene has better bioavailability. But the research shows terastilbene and resveratrol work together to boost cognitive health. Resveratrol works at the beginning of the cascade of neurochemical events that activates genes leading to cognitive benefits. And terastilbene provides its gene expression effects in the downstream portion of this molecular cascade. Terastilbene has a kind of a reverse effect on dopamine. Rather than directly increasing dopamine levels like some nootropics, it pre prevents the loss of dopamine in brain memory centers. This is not as strange as it sounds because this mechanism of action is similar to how Ritalin works as a stimulant. But pre by preventing the uptake of dopamine at neuroreceptors, Ritalin keeps more dopamine available for increased alertness, cognition, and memory formation. Terastilbene prevents brain injury from lack of blood flow and could have profound implications in the recovery from stroke. This effect could be beneficial even in healthy brains who suffer from brain fog due to poor cerebral circulation. Terastilbene provides well-documented antioxidant activity affecting neuroreceptor sensitivity, improved neural and improved neural signaling. It even promotes new synaptic connections between neurons, improving neuroplasticity leading to better learning and memory. Neurohackers report that supplementing with terastilbene boosts energy levels, provides clearer thinking and improved mood. Taken before an, an, an anxiety producing event, terastilbene takes the edge off with no sedation. Aging baby boomers report feeling younger after using terastilbene. They feel more alertness and less joint pain and lower back pain, more energy and less anxiety and better focus. We have hundreds of studies talking about the benefits of resveratrol, but mostly animal studies for terastilbene. So, Bear in mind that life is not a clinical study. Take what you can from this video on terastilbene and read user reviews on some of the major sites. And then add terastilbene to your stack and see if it makes a difference in your life. If you notice a difference, please like this video and bookmark this video and 
go over and leave a comment on the original transcript of this video on Nootropics Expert and help other neurohackers out. Now, speaking of Nootropics Expert, the original transcript is over there. Just search for Tara Stillbean or click on the link below this video because I've got other studies in this article. Tara's on one called from the University of Michigan, How Tara Stillbean uh, Reduces Anxiety. I've got another one that was centered around studying Alzheimer's and how Tara Stillbean improves cognition. And another one on how this one is done in China, Tara Stillbean protects neurons. Tara Stillbean is found in small quantities in some plant foods. A cup of blueberries, for example, contains only about 20 micrograms of Tara Stillbean. But even in small amounts, Tara Stillbean is believed to provide some of the benefits talked about in this video. Based on all the published animal studies, the recommended daily dose of Tara Stillbean is 50 milligrams for cognitive benefit. The primary side effect of using Tara Stillbean in your nootropic stack is you'll feel better. You should have more energy and thinking should be clearer and faster. And Tara Stillbean provides an anti-anxiety effect. Tara Stillbean is non-toxic and supplementation is well tolerated by most people. One randomized double-blind placebo-controlled trial conducted at the University of Mississippi School of Pharmacy did an analysis of safety in humans. 80 subjects were divided into four groups. Each group received either 125 milligrams of Tara Stillbean twice daily, the second uh, group received 50 milligrams twice daily, the third group 5 milligrams plus 150 milligrams plus 100 milligrams of grape, grape extract twice daily, and the fourth group a matching placebo twice daily. And the trial ran for 68 weeks. And the researchers concluded that Tara Stillbean is generally safe for use in humans up to 250 milligrams a day. But the benefits from Tara Stillbean follow a bell curve with little or no benefit at lower doses, optimal benefits around 50 milligrams a day, and no benefit again at much higher doses. So like other nootropics, more of Tara Stillbean is not necessarily better. Tara Stillbean comes in tablet or capsule form and is available by several well-known supplement makers. Some pre-made nootropic stacks include Tara Stillbean in their formula. P. TeraPure is a branded form of Tara Stillbean derived from blueberries and marketed as yielding 99% purity. You can also get Tara Stillbean from blueberries, but you'd have to eat a lot of blueberries to get your quota of 50 milligrams a day. Uh, blueberry extract supplements contain Tara Stillbean, but not typically. But they do not typically indicate exactly how much is in the extract. So my nootropics expert recommendation for Tara Stillbean is 50 milligrams a day. And that's my report on Tara Stillbean. If you want to see links to the studies I talked about, go to nootropicsexpert.com and search for Tara Stillbean, or click on the link down below this video. There you'll find a full transcript of this video and you'll find dozens of articles on all the well-known nootropics on Nootropics Expert. If you have any questions or you want to share your experience using Tara Stillbean, please use the comment section on the bottom of the post over on NootropicsExpert.com. I respond to comments and questions at Nootropics Expert usually the same day. Now if you want to see more videos on all the best nootropics used today, subscribe to this channel before you leave. I'll be putting up new videos on nootropics and optimizing your brain every week. I'm David Toman, author of Nootropics Expert.